So I'm going to start with clean skin. It's moisturized and I primed with my Smashbox Photo Finish. I'm now going to use two colors of the LA Girl Pro Concealer to even out my skin tone. This is the color Espresso and also Dark Chocolate. I'm highlighting with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in what I believe is the color Toffee. I will for sure have the definite color below. And I'm blending everything out today with my Beauty Blender because they're just awesome and it gives the nice, perfect, flawless, airbrushed feel. I'm going to further highlight and brighten underneath my eyes in certain areas with my Fit Me concealer and this is in the deepest color. Now I'm going to move on to contouring and I'm using my NYX Correct Conceal and blah 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 palette and I'm contouring with the darkest shade and I'm going to do the usual areas, nose, cheekbones, forehead, you know how that stuff goes. And then I'm going to place some more of that Maybelline Fit Me Concealer underneath the contour to really get that snatched wham bam contour. And now I'm going to set all of my highlighted areas with a concealer brush that I love. I thought that I should mention it. It's from e.l.f. And the powder that I'm using today is the Loose NYX HD Studio Powder. It's awesome. I really love it so far. Now I'm going to illuminate my cheekbones and peaks of my face with my Ulta Baked Bronzer. And this stuff is awesome. I love that it's not too pigmented so it gives that perfect illuminated look. Now I'm going to blush my cheeks with my Milani Blusher in Red Vino. And I've had this for like three years it's still awesome and I haven't even hit pan so I'm moving on to my eyes and I am priming them and I'm moving on to Lorac Pro palette and I'm grabbing the color sable and I'm going to use this to warm up my crease as you can see I've hit pan because this is the perfect crease color for deep skin women I promise you now I'm moving on to my the balm nude tube palette and I'm going to take this deep burgundy color sexy and I'm going to use that to deepen up my crease just a bit and add a little more softness to it and now I'm moving on to my naked three palette and I'm taking this color and I'm going to place this on my lid and on the inner corners of my eye and at the start of my lower lash line and then I'm going to take Sexy and I'm going to run that just a bit on my lower lash line to deepen it up just a bit. I'm using a L'Oreal pink glitter gloss that I love so much. It complements deep skinned women so well. This is like the perfect universal pink gloss so I really recommend you get it and yeah <laughs> is from Elevate Styles and it's from the hair company A Bell and this is their style seal. Um, it's just a basic straight wig with bangs. Um, I love the look of this hair. Um, it's coming off a bit more shiny on camera because I'm right in front of my big bright window but in person this looks like it could be my natural hair. It has a nice like kinky straightened feel to it. Um, one thing that I can say it is a bit rough and dry and that's one thing that I don't like about it and also um, the bangs came uneven like this side I had to cut that um, I don't have like shears or anything so it's like not even but this side this is basically how the wig the bangs looked on this side and then this side has like 
all this stuff down there so I tried to like mimic that as much as possible a completed look I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial I love this look so much I'll have like a complete foundation routine and techniques coming up because I know you guys are going to be asking about my skin and everything so yeah um I'll talk to you guys later I walk through, lights are loud, she 